Hi, glory to God. Good morning. Have you ever asked yourself, how am I supposed to make my day great? You know what? This Pastor Peter shouts about this morning coming to you with God's powerful word. And I'll be showing you how to make your day great. Glory to God. I want to say happy new month to every one of you. Yes, this is a special month for victory. Hallelujah. It's your month for victory. And you know what? I'll be showing you from God's word today the way to chart your course from victory to victory. And this morning I'll be showing from 1 John, the book of 1 John, chapter number um, chapter number 5, verse number 4. And it reads, it said, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, God's word is ever new and ever fresh every day. You know, I want to also read this with the amplified version. And it reads, he said, for whatsoever is born of God is victorious over the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, even our faith. You see, faith is the key. Faith, not in any other thing, but faith in the Lord Jesus. And scripture just lets us know that there are issues that uh, crop up in our world. There are challenges that will overcome up. So the challenges that you face presently, probably before you went to sleep yesterday night, you were all by yourself thinking about the challenges that you have in life. The challenges that has to do with your job, with your business, with your family, and you know what, maybe with your health also. And you woke up this morning still thinking about those things. And they tend to bring depression, depressive thoughts. And you've done all you tried, uh, all you know to do, and nothing seems to be changing. But you know what? As you let your faith well up through the hearing of God's word this morning, as you let God's word come to you, faith is coming to you. Hallelujah. And I can tell you that God's word will reproduce in you what it takes uh, to surpass those obstacles and the word of God will reproduce in you the victory that it talks about. Hallelujah. So as you go out this morning, let your uh, you know, your meditation be on the word. He said, for whatsoever is born of God. Are you born of God? That's the big question. That's where it starts from. If you are born of God, if you are a child of God, if you are a new creation, you are born again, you've made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, then begin to see yourself in this light. That I've been born of God, I've got a life of God in me. That greater one endures me. And because the greater one endures me, he is greater than the troubles, he is greater than the problems, he is greater than the trials, he is greater than the challenges, he is greater than the mountain before me. This new month, I step out with renewed vigor. Hallelujah. Because I understand the presence of the greater one in me is more real than the troubles, more real than the sickness, more real than the disease, more real than the doctor's report, more real than the situations that seems to plague my mind. Yes, the presence of God in me is more real. He said, for whatsoever is born of God. Hallelujah. I like that. Whatsoever. That does not only just mean the man or woman who is born of God. It also means the ideas that are born of God. Those visions that are born of God. Those things that God has laid in your heart. His word to you. His promises to you. His vision to you. The direction he has given to you. Those vision he has bettered in your heart. Maybe the vision concerning your family. Or the vision concerning your business or job. And the Lord has given you instruction to start up a business. Or to start up a job. Or to uh, go back to school. You know, all those visions, he said, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Though there may be trials and challenges that may come against your academic pursuit or that may come against your business that the Lord has asked you to start off with or that may come against your family that the Lord has given you instructions to start off with. You know what? If only you can hold on to the world. And you know what? You continue to act in faith. He said, you will overcome. Your family is coming out better. Yes, your business is coming out better. Yes, your academics. In your academics, you are coming out better with laurels. Hallelujah. You're coming out better in your health. Hallelujah. Because it's God's will that you live in good health. Hallelujah. You are coming back better in your finances. You're coming back better. Because this is a month where you experience the victories of God. The Lord told us this year that it's a year of unlimited grace. 
grace. Yes, but in this month, uh, in particular, it will be much where you experience victories upon victories. Hallelujah. Because the grace of God, the unlimited grace of God, will be right there for you, helping you to surmount obstacles and giving you strategies, divine strategies to turn out a victor all of the time. Hallelujah. A victor in your health, a victor in your business, a victor in your family. A, big, a victor concerning document situations for you who is an immigrant in a foreign country and you be looking on to God for this. There is going to be a turn around. Hallelujah. It's going to be a month where you will experience a change in level. Hallelujah. It will be a higher realm of glory. The Lord is taking you higher. The Lord is making you bigger in the name of Jesus. Why? Because grace has been made available to you. He said, for whatsoever is born of God. you born of God as a child of God. You has made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Therefore, it's your covenant right. It's your it's your right with God as a product of God's covenant with Abraham. You are a product through the fact that you are believing in son Jesus Christ. You've been engrafted in. So you have benefit of that covenant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are a child of Abraham. A seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Therefore, you are now of offspring of that covenant. And therefore, you have rights to those benefits. Hallelujah. This more the Lord is making you bigger and better. Hallelujah. So for whatsoever, whatsoever, see yourself as such. Let this be your reality. Let it reverberate in your mind. Let it reverberate in your heart. Let it be your meditation all day long. It does not count what others have said about you. It does not count the opinions of others. The devil and his agents are not a factor. Hallelujah. Because God has great things for you. The scriptures say, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Who is he that is in the world? The devil and his agents and his works and all those challenges and difficulties that he tries to bring your way. But the scripture says, greater. Hallelujah. So when you are all by yourself and the enemy tries to bring up those thoughts of depression and frustration, you begin to shout. You begin to charge up yourself. You say, greater, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, than this frustrating thought, than the sickness, than the disease, than the affliction. You charge up yourself by these words of faith. Hallelujah. Don't allow yourself to be beaten down. Hallelujah. You shout about God's word. You know, God's word is something to shout about. Hallelujah. It's something that you excite you all day long. Hallelujah. When you wake up in the morning, you study God's word and you shout about it. Hallelujah. That's how to set up yourself for a great day. Hallelujah. So that by then you step on the street after speaking in other tongues, after prophesying about yourself, after prophesying to yourself with God's word, after declaring God's word over yourself, after shouting the word of God over yourself. Hallelujah. It doesn't count what others say. When you step out in that street, hallelujah, the devil and his agents as campering for cover. Hallelujah. Don't be the one who is a victim. Don't be the one who has been chased by the devil. Say, oh, pastor, I've been in soup for some days now. The devil and his agents have been after me. No. You go after the devil. Let him know that you are the one after him. Hallelujah. As you put the word of God in your mouth. You declare the word of God. Say, Pastor, how am I supposed to be after the devil? By declaring the word in all situations, you declare the word. And by then you declare the word is on the run. Hallelujah. For whatsoever you are born of God. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the word. And the scripture says, this is the part I like. He said, and this is the victory that overcomes the word. I like the scripture. He always don't, he, he does not just tell us what uh, gives us victory. He tells us how. He tells us the how to get the victory. He said, this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. And scripture says, faith comes by the hearing and hearing by the word of God. So, you, in case you want to say, how do I get faith? It comes by the hearing. Hallelujah. So, you're hearing this word this morning. is bringing faith to you. You're doing the, the right thing by hearing the word. And after hearing the word, you set the scriptures. You hear more of the word. You speak it to yourself. By the time you are out, the devil is on the run. Hallelujah. You know, this is the way to go this month. It's a month of experiencing victories. Victories in every area of our lives. Hallelujah. Victory everywhere. Hallelujah. When you move to the north, you have victories. When you move to the south, you have victory. When you go to the east, you have victory. When you go to the west, you have victory. When you move forward, you have victory. Everywhere you go this month, is victory all the way. Hallelujah. So no stopping you this month. Hallelujah. It 
it's our time for increase and success and glory. Hallelujah. The Lord actually gave us a word yesterday. He says it's time for glory and honor. Hallelujah. Glory and honor. Hallelujah. So you're going to see glory and honor in all that you do in the name of Jesus. For you who is not yet born again, I want to admonish you this morning to, you know, Call upon the name of the Lord. The scripture tells us in Acts of the Apostles 2, verse 21. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you too can be a part of this, you know, a uh, uh, promise, this war, this, 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 this goodies that we have in the kingdom. You too can be a part. The scripture tells us in Romans 10, verse 8 to 10. It says, For with the heart man believe, but with the mouth, confession, declaration, announcement, you are catapulted into salvation through the declaration of your mouth hallelujah and you can do it now you can do it here and now so just say this prayer after me you say father in the name of jesus yes repeat that after me you say i come to you just as i am a sinner but i've had your word and i believe that you send your son jesus christ to die as a sacrifice for my sins i believe that he died he was buried and on the third day rose again for my justification yes and this day from this day forward i accept jesus as the lord of my life i'm no longer under the bondage of satan and his agents or his kingdom have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son and if you made that prayer from the top of your heart you are born again Welcome to the family of God. I can assure you there's great joy in heaven right now because you've just been born into the kingdom. And you know what? I want to admonish, admonish you to look out for a, a Bible-believing church in the city where you live. Join that church so that you'll be groomed up and trained in the things of God. Yes. And if peradventure you live anywhere around Padova in Italy, I want to add, uh, invite you especially to be a guest at Healing Grace Christian Assembly, Padova, via advanced so number 17 part over just behind the part of our train station and um, as soon as you come out from the underground subway of the train station um in the Achella direction you find a building where you have the police post just beside the building uh within the same building beside the uh, police post you have the uh, door post with a yellow door you walk right into the first floor and you find us there on sundays we have our sunday school by 10 o'clock by 11 we have our main service and by uh tuesdays we have our prayer meetings and uh, it starts from 8 uh, 6 30 sorry in the evening to 8 p.m in the evening where we agree with you for a miracle so we'll be expecting you and you know what this weekend uh, will be the first saturday of the month and on every first saturday of the month we have what we call uh, general fasting and prayers where we agree to uh with you for a miracle also so you prepare for that and we'll be in church that saturday um by uh 10 p uh 10 a.m sorry and um we'll be expecting you likewise to be with us god bless you and sure to subscribe on our youtube channel the name is peter shazobo on youtube or pastor peter shazobo and then turn on the notification bell so that when else we post new audios or video messages you'll be among the first to receive them and you know what there are so there's so much bad news in circulation you want to be a one who carry good news so we want you to share this news share this message with at least 10 of your contacts with at least 10 of your loved ones and your family so that you help them start off with a great day and also a great month today being the first day of the month so share the message to everyone in your contact at least 10 of them and ensure that they start up their day and their month in a great way hallelujah as you do so god bless you in jesus name do it now not later do it now share the message now as you do so god bless you and i want to wish you have a great day god bless you